And if you like your baseball with a little old school feel, well, we got it for you right here in Manchester. We're talking vintage baseball. We'll give you a taste of it and tell you how you can take it in this weekend. Fox 2 News at 6. Up for a game of baseball? Tim Azell is, and he is going old school for us this morning. Tim, uh, is this how the game looked when you were in the league? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we're talking 1860, 1875. I'm not that old, Margie. Oh, my apologies. And secondly, yeah, I was in a different league. It's a totally different story. But we are talking some vintage baseball here. Lightning joining me right now, and we're talking about an exhibition going on this weekend, fundraiser, in fact, two games, doubleheader. Uh, going on right here in Manchester. Tell me a little bit about this game. Uh, a little bit about it. We play 1860 rules, and when you really look at it, um, there are really no uh, foul balls. You can hit the ball fair and it'll go foul. It's still a fair ball. And then the biggest thing is there's no gloves. No they gloves. Didn't, they didn't have gloves until the 1880s. Wow. So when you really, the other standpoint is when you look at the ball being hit, if the ball hit in one bound, then the batter is out if it's caught. So you don't have to catch it on the fly if you catch it on one bound. You, right? can you can catch it on one bound. You catch it on a fly, he's still out. But you catch it on one bound, the batter's out, and a runner can run at their own risk. Ooh, there you go. Look at that one right there. Is he out? Oh, he's out. He's out. Definitely, absolutely. All right, I'm going to try to learn the rules here, step into the batter's box, and see if I still have some skill. 1860 style, that's coming up. And we'll tell you how you can take in this game this weekend. Fox 2 News in the morning. Hope you got good calluses. With no glove, yeah. gonna need them. <laughs> All right, Tim, thanks. Don't go anywhere. And we're going old school with our baseball, playing a little vintage ball with the St. Louis Brown stockings. No glove. Whoop! Stick around, we'll have more coming your way. Fox 2 News in the morning. Timmy Zell looks like a brownie this morning as he plays baseball, doesn't he? Yes, and old St. Louis Browns, not yes. like a brownie that sells cookies. No, no. Yeah, we are talking baseball. And Tim is stepping into a time machine this morning, going vintage Very much so. with the boys this summer. Tim? That's exactly right, guys. We're at the Manchester Athletic Association, where they've been playing baseball here since the late 1880s. And we're in that theme today as we're getting ready for a vintage baseball game here on Saturday. Didi joining me as well as Lightning. And Didi, first of all, this is to raise money for the Bacon Log Cabin and Museum. That is correct. The Bacon Log Cabin is about a mile north of here, halfway between Clayton Road and Manchester Road. It was built by William Bacon and his family sometime between 1835 and 1840. Gotcha. It's a 19th century structure which needs a lot of TLC. So we're having this fundraiser with the help of the Manchester Athletic Association and the Vintage Baseball Clubs of St. Louis no to doubt. raise money for its preservation and upkeep. There you go. So the St. Louis Brown Stockings helping me out today and Lightning, I'm going to try my hand at batting now. Right? Hey, let's go for it. All right, let's see. Now, as we mentioned, the ball is a little different. Bat still wooden bat, right? Still, still wooden bat. And a lot of the players painted their bat to their colors of their style that they like to have. All right, so I'm going to step up. Also, is not an umpire, there's an arbiter. And he stands behind the plate and makes all the decisions. So I'm going to step up here. And uh, there's a line here, striker to the line. I'm the striker, and the line would be right here. And you had to straddle that back in the day. Yes, sir. That's the term striker to the line. So here we go. All right, Randy, you know this is what I do bet. Who's on? Wow. Who's on? Look at that, huh? All right. Oh. Who's on? Look at that. Wow. Oh! Huzzah! Go down and get it! Oh! It's out in front of that one. And there. Oh! oh wonderful! He's starting right, to get in the swing of this here. Hey, one. come check out the game. 4 and 5.30. Manchester Athletic Association. First game is at 4. Second game at 5.30. <laughs> hey, bases, guys. They're 90 feet, just like in there the big leagues. Just gonna run it out. Leg it out. Oh no! Out. Oh no! Slide to me. <laughs> He's safe. He's safe. <laughs> Come check it out, guys. It's Saturday. I'm on first. All right. How is that? You think that jersey's wool? Uh, if it is, That's he's in trouble. <laughs> And if you build it, Tim Izell will come. Tim's going old school as he swings for the fences with the boys of summer. All right, Tim Izell's channeling old Abner Doubleday this morning as he's uh, playing baseball, old school style. 
Hey gang, we're hanging out with the St. Louis Brown Stockings. We're talking vintage baseball, Lightning joining me, and we're getting ready for a big double header on Saturday right here in Manchester, 4 and 5.30. And this is how it was played back in the 1800s, right? Oh yeah, 1860. 1860, and, and this was the first team in St. Louis. Uh, the Brown Stockings were the first team in 1875 that were the professional team. They had a lot of amateurs, uh, but the Brown Stockings ended up moving into the Perfectos in 1899 and 1900 became the St. Louis Cardinals. Awesome, awesome. Now you've got a little, uh, we do a little uh, oath before we start, right? Correct. All right, here it is. We're going to start, it, start us off with the oath. Brown Stockings, for the glory of the day. Who's There you go. All right, so I'm going to try on my fielding. Uh, I'm going to run over here at shortstop. Now, we don't have gloves, right? There's no gloves in 1860. Okay. So I just got to barehand it and still got to throw it to first. Ho! Over my head. Like many things. He's an out. He's an there out. There you go. That's an out. Because Explain the rule on why that's an out. Uh, ball caught on the bound is an out. There you go. Oh, man, that throws off. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. That was bad. Okay. All right. I got to work on that. The fielding was good. I gotta redeem myself. Yeah! Who's that? There we go, <laughs> all right. There we go. Good throw, sir. All right. So how many outs? Same out, three There's outs? Three outs. Uh, pretty much this is a gentleman's game. So back in 1860, uh, everybody cheered everybody on. There were no hard feelings. So as everybody cheering everybody on, we all got along, we all had fun. It's working me out over here. Man, I am, <laughs> I'm making the first baseman work. I don't know where it's going when I throw it. So two games, four and 5.30 on Saturday, one bounce, oh -ho! Hey, he's the batter's out. He's out, there you go. Great fundraiser for the Bacon Log Cabin and Museum. Come on out, four and 5.30 this Saturday, right here in Manchester. Whew, it's wearing me out over here. <laughs> Come check it out. Vintage baseball. He said no arguments in baseball, right? He said Back no in arguments. the day? I'm sure when they were wearing those wool uniforms, there were lots of arguments. <laughs>